I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play Desktop Dungeons. This is sort of a puzzly roguelike game that's actually kind of old. It's just been upgraded and updated for several years. Uh, I'm sort of starting in the middle of a game. Basically, the first part of the game is just spent making money so that you can buy all these buildings so that you can unlock different classes and different races. When you start out, you just begin with a human fighter. Uh, I have got mages, thieves, and clerics, as well as elves and dwarves. Each race provides its own bonus, and uh, so that can help you decide which one you want to bring along on the various missions. Um, I've also got a blacksmith, which allows me to have some items to take along, but if we go to the tavern here, uh, we can see the various places I can go questing. And certain locations have different types of bad guys in them and monsters and so for instance if you had a place full of undead you'd want to bring around a cleric and uh, some bosses are immune or resistant to physical or magical attacks so again that all determines which kind of class race combination you want to go in with uh, I'm just gonna enter into this den of danger for now I have a quest to finish this off with all of the basic classes and I've already done it with the fighter so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go in with a thief and I think I'm gonna take a human just because they get an attack bonus although extra health is nice but I think the attack bonus will be more useful I think I'll also bring along this expensive sword because an extra two damage is going to be very useful to me. Okay, so unlike most roguelikes, the monsters in the dungeon are actually stationary. Also, the fog of war will provide you replenishment for your health and your mana. Uh, so it becomes sort of strategic as you navigate the maze determining which monsters you go after and whether or not you want to explore a large area because you need to be sure that you're keeping some of this black around so that you can use it to heal yourself after you take a lot of damage. Uh, fortunately, I'm starting right next to a couple level ones. The mage I can take out. Uh, if I hit the right mouse button, come on, there we go. Uh, it'll bring up the little stat window for the monsters and this shows how much damage I will deal to it I will win, I'll kill it outright, but it will also do a large chunk of damage to me uh, it also has magical attack so it deals magic damage some monsters have magic resistance uh, especially the spell casting types fortunately I'm not really a magic class um, I guess I can take it out and then just heal myself by exploring. Uh, that is a glyph. This is like a spell. This particular one destroys dungeon walls. Kind of useful if my pathway is blocked off by a monster I cannot defeat, but otherwise it's rather useless. I'll pick it up for now. I only have so many slots in my inventory here. If I get rid of one, by converting it and I get a hundred conversion points then I get my racial bonus which is that 10% attack bonus so my attack will go up every time I get rid of these items um, I can kill this goblin goblin has first strike but since it will die it doesn't matter okay there's a mana potion I like to stock up on my potions and wait until the final boss because a lot of the time you kind of need that. Okay, I just got a, an attack boost. The meat man isn't going to do too much damage to me. You can see over there on the right uh, the two attacks that it will take to kill it and in those two attacks it will only take me down to here. So I'm quite alright with that. Now I can go back up to the surface at any time, but as soon as I find the boss, this uh, can disappear, so you have to stay and fight. 
This can be a useful way to just sort of grind for gold. You can just come around, clear a little bit of the dungeon, and retreat with the money. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a full clear of this. A lot of gold. Now if I was a soldier, I would have the benefit of being able to see all of the monsters that are my level on the floor. As it is, I'm kind of wandering around blind. And I just leveled up. But uh, I have to be careful that I do not just go wandering and use up everything on the screen, because otherwise I will not be able to beat some of the higher level monsters. And I really could use the fireball spell right now. Um, this guy is going to kill me. Because he's got first strike, he will be able to attack me. If I had first strike, uh, it wouldn't matter because he's still got first strike. But I could, say on the zombie, get a final blow before it could attack me back. And that's death outright. Okay, that's better. Uh, I can still survive this. Okay. Well, still not finding a lot here. Oh, what's that? I'm a wall. It creates a wall on a dungeon tile. If it, this targets an enemy, your next kill earns 50% bonus experience. Hmm. Dang it. There we go. Now, if you attack a monster that is higher level and beat it, you get a bonus to your experience. Like I said, though, I kind of want a fireball spell for that. Let me see. Okay. I can get that one. Did quite a bit of damage to me. I would lose that battle. I would lose that battle. I would also lose that. Even if I had full... Yeah, even if I had full health, I would lose that. So that's not so great. It means I have to waste more of my map trying to find things to get experience from. Or more preferably. I don't think I would survive that. Well, I would, actually. It does 21 damage to me. Uh, no, actually. I would not survive that. Ah, and I wouldn't be able to kill this outright. You can see there at the very left of its bar. Damn it. There would be just a sliver there. If I had a spell that could increase my attack power, that would be very useful. Um, maybe I should convert one of these. Let's convert this one. Okay, so I got a slight bonus. Now what is that? There we go, that's better. Okay. Ooh, a shop. Fifteen gold for five max health. I may need that, I'll come back. Here's another... Another one. This allows me to swap places with a monster in my way. I'll pick that up. I may need to do that. really don't want to go all the way through that corridor and use everything. Okay, this is good. That, ah, damn. Okay. Here's the very verbose goblin. That is the boss of the dungeon. I need to get to level 10 to beat him. Well, with the thief, anyway. I actually managed to beat a level 10 with a level 9 mage once. It was not easy. Which is kind of the... Oh, here we go. We can go down 
to a sub dungeon. And there is extra stuff in here. I don't know that I. Because I can also use the uh, Fog of War here as part of my replenishment. I'll come back, provided I can actually level up at any point here. Well, this is kind of a crap run, actually. Let's see, I wonder. If I boosted my attack power... Yeah, I'm still gonna die because I don't have the... Uh... Okay, I really don't want to use one of these right now. But I am desperate for some experience. That's the end of that. There we go. Finally, okay. So I got rid of that. I could get rid of this guy. Let's go see what's over here. Level two. I am using up all of my replenishment. I'm only level four. I don't think I'm gonna win this run. that. Well, maybe I should go and increase my health. I think that's the only way I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm not going to win. I'm relying on my potions. That's no good. Let's see. Okay, that works there. I'm going to need to replenish health again, and then I can get rid of that one. Okay. Alright. So let's go back down here. See what we can do against that meat man. Probably could have gotten away with something better than that. Hmm. Well, I'll come back again, just in case I need those other things. Let's see. That is not going to help me. It's not going to help me at all. Damn it. Very, very close. It is unfortunately not going to be enough. I'll still die there, too. Well, this is going to be a failed run anyway. You know what? Rather than losing, I think I'll just skedaddle and uh, leave the dungeon. I can work to get some extra stuff, though. Damn it! Alright, last health potion. Well, that was a complete and utter failure. Let's see if I can get this meat man. Okay. There's one. Okay, that's not going to work. Right, well, let's go back down here just to see what was left in here. Nothing. Just stuff to replenish health. Well, I'm going to retire. I'll leave the dungeon. So, I didn't get as much as I would have for beating the boss and taking his item, but it's better than dying and getting nothing. And that's how it goes. Forever and ever. 
unlocking new things, saving up money to spend on upgrading your various classes, getting new items, all that fun stuff. Uh, there's also this Explorer's Guild, which gives you fixed dungeons, which basically do act as puzzles. So they've all got set solutions, and it's basically just a challenge for yourself to solve them all. Uh, once you beat each of these packs, they supposedly give you some items. I have not yet cleared them out because I can't be bothered to do so, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I guess it's kind of addictive but you need to be prepared to lose a lot because, you know, it's a roguelike and that happens. Fortunately, I was able to escape that losing situation in that last dungeon, but I would like to go back in and clear that. <sighs> it's going to take forever. Anyway, that's a quick look at Desktop Dungeons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.